introducing a little machine here which is considerably rare. What this is, is this bolts onto a spindle molder and it's another shaft that's directly above the other, the spindle molder shaft. And it's, it's, it, it's pretty much, it makes, it turns a spindle molder into a tendoning machine. So, you know, some of the tendoning machines have two blocks that'll cut this way and two scriber blocks. This turns a spindle molder into that and turns it into a tendoning machine. Now there's a sliding table on ball bearings here. I'm waiting that I won in England. And this is a very rare machine made by Watkin Burr's Green. Uh, it uses stub spindles with no shaft coming through. Um, these are threaded on, very special. This one's a White Hill style block. I'll make a spindle for this. It has a, it has a, a draw bar. And um, what that allows you to do is cut long tenons and let your tenon float in up to eight inches away. It pivots on a little bolt here. So you can have offset tenons uh, for doors and fixtures like that. And um, it's really quite cool. Locks here, two and a half inch uh, travel. It's uh, a 7,000 RPM spindle, but I'm gonna stick a VFD on there and I could probably clock it up to 10,000 RPMs, which should just make wicked cuts. So um, let me turn the rotary phase on. We'll, uh, I'll maybe take the cutter block off because I don't really got this bolted down anywhere. And uh, very smooth. Uh, come take a look. So as you can see, you got a little slotted screw right there. And you've got a, you know, just a pivot point here. So that'll allow, that allows you to sort of, uh, you know, uh, tilt, tilt this way to get offset tenons. Uh, there's a little top on here. Um, I'm pretty happy. Uh, it's a very, very cool little machine. Thanks for watching.